Good morning, owls. Are we ready to talk about the day of the week? Okay, let's sing our song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, owls, let's take a look. Yesterday was Thursday. So that means today is Friday. So tomorrow will be Saturday. Good job. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Good job. All right, let's take a look at what I wrote here. So today is Friday, May the 1st. Good job. We're in a whole new month. We are in the month of M -M May. May begins with our letter of the week. What is my letter of the week? That's right, my letter of the week is M. M says M, M, M. Good job, owls. Thanks for helping me figure out what day of the week it is. Now, we're also talking about the pond. And remember, a pond is a small body of fresh water. It's not salt water like the ocean, but this is fresh water like the rain falling down from the sky. It doesn't have any salt in it. And this water is still, which means that a river doesn't flow into it or a stream or ocean water. Okay. And a pond is created by rainwater or it's created by a spring that's underneath the ground and the water comes up and it creates the pond. And there are lots of things that live in the pond. So let's take a look at our pond words. <coughs> Excuse me. I wrote down duck, frog, turtle, lily pad, and dragonfly. These are some of my pond words. And I bet you guys can do a really good job writing those words. All right, now Miss Benham is going to erase my words because we're going to use this and we're going to write something else on here. Okay, but we're going to do that in just a few minutes because we're talking about our pond. So I want you to look at my pond and I've seen some of the ponds that you guys have drawn and they look fantastic. So let's take a look at what lives in the pond. And some of those things we talked about in our pond words. So we have a duck, a turtle, lily pads. We have a frog, a snake could live in a pond. Cattails and cattails are a type of plant and lily pads are a type of plant. In the stories that we've read this week, we read Make Way for Ducklings, and that had to do with ducks finding a place to live. And we read the tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher, and that was about a frog. And he used a lily pad as a boat for when he went fishing. So frogs and ducks live in the pond. Very good, Alice. Now, I have another animal that also lives in the pond. What do I have here? That's right, I have a frog. Let's listen to that again. My frog is saying ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Now, we're gonna talk today about the life cycle of the frog, okay? So our frog hatches from eggs. Did you know that? The mommy frog goes into the water and she lays her eggs. So this is how we draw a life cycle chart, 
okay? So I have my eggs, and then when the eggs hatch, they turn into a tadpole. Can you say that with me? Tadpole, and the tadpole has gills, which means he can breathe in the water. Now, as the tadpole grows up a little bit more, he turns into a young frog and he starts to grow lungs and he starts to lose his tail and he starts to grow legs, okay? The next step is he loses the gills. He loses the tail, but he has his legs and he has his lungs and he lives on land because remember a frog is an amphibian. Can you say that word with me? Amphibian. That means that the first part of his life is in the water and the second part of his life is on land. So this is our life cycle of the frog and I'm going to send you um an activity that you can do with mom and dad and that's gonna help you learn about the life cycle of the frog. So step one is eggs, step two is tadpole, step three is young frog, step four is a frog. What does the frog say? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job, owls. So that was the life cycle of the frog. So we were talking about the pond this week but we're also talking about our letter M, okay? M says ma, 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 ma. So we're gonna practice writing letter M, okay? So we're gonna write uppercase M and lowercase M. What begins with M? Ooh, Miss Benham thought of a word. I'm gonna write it down. I wrote down milk. Hmm, what else begins with M? How about mountain? Does that begin with M? M, -m mountain. Let's take a look. <gasps> yes, it does. So I have milk, I have mountain. Hmm, ooh, I thought of a word. How about Monkey, mop, and how about, <gasps> ooh, I got this word from Lincoln, M-A-R-S-H-M-A-L-L-O-W. Marshmallow. Ooh, marshmallow has two M's in it. Isn't that cool? So let's see, how many words did we come up with? Milk, mountain, monkey, mop, marshmallow. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. We came up with five words that begin with the letter M. So your challenge for today is we're going to work on our life cycle of the frog. And then I want you to try to think up of some words that begin with the letter M. All right, owls, I had a lot of fun going over our pond words and our letter M. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.